Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing my recreation of my makeup wedding day that is coming up this March 9th and I'm so excited to share with you guys and give you a little story time on how it went. So if you are interested and ready to see this look, let's go ahead and get started. So I already primed my face and I'm going to go ahead and go in with L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and Caramel Beige 108. And then I'm going to go in with the foundation brush. Okay, so we're going to go down memory lane. I've been with my husband for 11 years in September. We met in high school. And this was back in 2009, which sounds ridiculous. A long time ago. So we met then, and I was in 10th grade, he was in 9th grade. And how I met him was, I went with a friend to the cafeteria because she's like, oh, I know somebody who can, I know someone who can get us lunch or snack because they're online. I'm like, all right, whatever, let's go. So we went and um, that's what she asked him, but I didn't know who he was. And she's like, oh, hey, what's up? Um, Manny or Emmanuel and He's like, can you buy something for me, please? Um, and I don't remember, because I wasn't paying attention. So um, he smiled, and I'm like, he has a cute smile. And I was like, you look familiar. And I said, are you, uh, do you, there was another, his brother. And I was like, do you know him? And he's like, yeah, that's my brother. I'm like, oh, because he looked like him, but different. And I'll make sure we get the ears, too. So we left, and we were going to go back. But it was funny because we walked around, we were waiting and stuff, and I'm like, are we gonna go back to him, you know, to get our snacks? But it was mainly because I wanted to see him. And um, we hung out for a little bit in school. I never really ate lunch at school, so I was just there. You could see, oh, this is the Age Verwine by me. This is the shade Medium 130. And blend with this brush. Hung out at lunch with our friends and stuff. And then, um, yeah, we're talking back in 2009, so I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and add him on MySpace. If you guys remember, comment down below about MySpace back in the day. So we connected on MySpace, and it was funny because, um, I his account was private, and I'm like, how am I gonna request him? I don't know. So I emailed, I I texted his brother and I was like, hey, can you tell Manny to go online? I wanted to add him on MySpace. And then he did. And we were talking on MySpace almost every day, like pretty much every night on MySpace for about two weeks. And then that Sunday on the 13th, he's like, can I ask you a question? I'm like, sure. And then of course, you know, when it comes to the internet back then, it was slow so you can't be on the internet and you can't be on the phone at the same time so i don't know what was going on and it was just very slow loading but i had read i said new message and i'm like come on it's not loading what is he gonna ask me i had no idea i didn't, I didn't even think about it and he's like oh would you go out with me or would you be my girlfriend basically and i'm like yes and then i was like that is so weird because i think i consider my first boyfriend and he asked me out and he's like, and the messages, it's like, oh, I'm gonna treat you so, so right. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Cause you know how it is. It's like, I was 16. So being very young and, you know, teenage years and stuff. So we were officially dating then. And then it was cool because we got to go to school together and we all had the same lunch. So even though we were on different grades, we didn't get the same classes, but we were able to see each other in the halls, you know, walk each other to class, and then pass notes, and see each other for lunch. We're going with the Anastasia's Beverly Hills Cocoa Stick Foundation to contour my face. So we hung out every day, and it was fun at school, and um, I remember, it was, I think it was our first dating day, I gave him a kiss and he was so shy. I thought it was cute as hell. 
and he said I was his first kiss and I'm like, oh, I feel so special. So after that, I don't, you know, fast forwarding, we've been together for, like I said, 11 years. So we've gone through a lot together. Growing up, we were teenagers, he was 14, I was 16, and then we hung out a lot. You know, um, went to, he came over to my house after school. Oh, that's the funny part. So he's come over after school, of course. You don't tell your parents that you're dating. And I had my little sister put me on blast right now. So I used to walk around my complex and we'd hang out, hold hands and things like that. And then one time, I don't know what happened. And I was walking around, so we were walking back home and I'm like, all right, time to go home. And I see my mom and my sister coming down. I'm like, oh my God, that's my mom. So I dropped his hand. I was like, like I don't know you. <laughs> so I dropped his hand and I was kept walking. I'm like, hi mom, you know? And then I don't remember if I introduced him as my boyfriend. I can't remember, but my sister knew he was my boyfriend and I think she probably told him, but, um, but it was good. I mean, she met him there, which is not formal, which I would have liked, but you know, I was like, yeah, this is Manny. And then she's like, yes, I'm Michaela's mother. Like, you know, how New Yorkers talk. So he was like, you know, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Manny. But it was cool because he wasn't scared, no pressure, no nothing. And he was just uh, friendly and nice, which I liked. So I was like, oh, that was interesting. But she didn't get mad. So not that I can remember, because we're talking a lot, you know, a decade. So in some mascara, this is L'Oreal Mascara Voluminous. So that's how we met in school and um, we've been together ever since dating. And then I remember he proposed on December 11th at night. And we were heading to bed, it's so funny, because I was like, because I remember I was we were heading to bed and I just cut the light. And he turns the light back on, I'm like, what are you doing? I wanna go to sleep. So he, then he asked me in the bedroom, very, um, he was very quiet, like just intimate, I guess you could say, it was just me and him in the room. And then he just proposed and I was like, yes. So we've been, in, we were engaged December of 2015. And then we got married March 9th, 2018. So in those times that we've grown up together, you know, we got our own place. We have, now we have two dogs. So, you know, we're just as a family. And then prime my eyes. We're gonna work on our eyes next with the e.l.f. 16 hour camera concealer. And going with the Wet n Wild Duo Contour Palette, the light shade, so I can conceal my eyes. Go ahead with the brown and carve out these cheeks. Okay, so we got married on March 9th, and of course, like every woman loves to have like a big um, wedding, but I didn't. I didn't want per se a big wedding because of how expensive it was and I didn't have the money for it. So I was like, you know, we can have something small and intimate, but I still wanted to do tradition. So I still went and got my, um, I still got me my white dress and um, I'm gonna add pictures so you guys can see it. And it was like the best day ever. It's so funny because the only thing that I didn't pay attention to was weather. I was like, how do you forget about the weather? And um, we did it outside, we were at the courthouse, so we did it on a Friday. And it was just exciting and it was very really intimate. Like I said, a few people came, um, family, and it was just wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the Morphe James Charles palette. And I'm gonna go for a pink look. Right here, this bright pink, the one I'm gonna use is called Pinky Drinky. I, my sister did my makeup for my wedding, so I didn't go to a professional makeup artist. So it was just like, um, just a pink look. 
and lip. So that's what I'm gonna show. I'm gonna go in with the flat brush and then start working the color into my crease. Then we did the whole, you know, something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. So my garner I had was blue, and I had borrowed uh, necklace and earrings from my sister, my younger sister, and then the dress was new, and then the bra is considered old. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, like raggedy old, but it was just, you know, used old, I guess. Um, but then it was fun, and then, it was just like, I was surprised because I'm a very sensitive person, so I expected to, you know, be all nervous and crying and stuff, and I wasn't. I was just very calm, cool, collected. I was just like, you know, you're gonna get things done, we're gonna do this, and get it all ready. My husband already had his tuxedo, and we went traditionally, like I said, black and white, and then the vest was gray, which I'm not sure if you would notice it in there. very small and intimate and then we got married at the courthouse and I did get my hair done that day I remember um, I had it half up half down and it had some highlights into it and she curled it I also had bangs which I don't have bangs now anymore I let them grow out and I just wanted something different so I don't have the bangs anymore but I thought it was just so cute. And then we took pictures in the park. There's like a park slash lake right next to the gazebo at the courthouse we went to. And then we took pictures there and it was just so beautiful and fun and there was no hiccups and it, everything just went smoothly. So it started, it was 10 a.m. And then um, we didn't actually do, like I said, we didn't do like the tradition stuff. You know how like you go to your own room and you don't see them until the day of or you know at the courthouse and stuff or you know so we just had breakfast at the house and then since then i haven't seen him i left at 10 a.m to go get my hair done and i didn't see him at the altar at the gazebo at three o'clock so I was getting ready and all that stuff, but I was like nervous. Like every time I think about it, I'm like, all right, it's just three hours left, two hours left. And my heart kept dropping because it was just nervous. It's funny though. And then, um, of course, so then friends and family got there and then we shared our vows and stuff and listening to the lady give them and that's when i started crying and i didn't expect that so i'm like don't cry you got makeup don't ruin it and don't get it on your dress so i was like um you know wiping it and kind of like pushing it away so i didn't have um the make uh, any makeup you know we said our vows and i'll exchange kisses and stuff and i was just so excited but i really liked how I did it, it was fun. And then we did have dinner all together. We went to Olive Garden and it was about 30 of us, I believe. So then we all took pictures, you know, properly, the parents, the in-laws, the siblings and stuff. And it was fun and nice. Um, then we had dinner and then it was so funny. And then we, after we went home, we had all our gifts and stuff. And then we opened up all our gifts and our cards. And then we sent out our thank you notes. And we ended up going to the casino that night. It was like, this is interesting. It was like 10 o'clock at night. And we went all the way down to Miami Seminole Coconut Creek. And it was fun. So I went with my mom and my sister and my new husband. And it was just fun. We just went out and, you know, just had a fun time and stuff. I'm gonna have to bake a little bit under my eyes. Then I'm going with these natural looking lashes, Kiss, called So Wispy. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the NYX Liquid Eyeliner. Shine so it was such a beautiful wedding day and I was so happy and everything was very affordable. I didn't want to go too expensive. So I bought my brand new dress. Everything I would say roughly was about 
less a thousand dollars or less for the my shoes, the dress, says tux, and then the veil and my hair done and stuff. We're coming up on three years now. So and everything is still perfectly fine. I mean, being together for eleven years, growing up together, so many laughs and so many like obstacles and stuff, you know, as we are together so it just makes me happy so for my lips i didn't wear a lipstick i did wear like a lip gloss where it's kind of like a peachy nude so i'm gonna go ahead first and i outline my lips so i'm just gonna go ahead and go in with this new one by lash glam called whip frosting i'm gonna go ahead and go in with the nyx this is called creme brulee this is the butter gloss So I'm trying to style my hair like I did before my wedding day. I had it half up, half down, and it did have highlights and it did have bangs. But unfortunately, I don't have any bangs at the moment and I don't have highlights. It's just one color. But I, this is my final look of my wedding day makeup. And it was fun to recreate. I love it and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. That was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now and click the little bell right next to it so you get notified every single time that I make posts. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on the next one. Next video, I'm going to be doing a try on haul and this is going to be Torrid Edition. It is a plus size store for women that have beautiful clothing and great material so i am excited to do that one next for you guys so i'll see you guys next time bye